Hey guys, welcome back to Can Code. This is part 26, and today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple of things. First, we have this um, script here that says if the player lives is not equal to the actual player lives, then it's just going to always make it go down. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're going to say, and we're gonna add another if, and we're gonna grab a greater than here. If the player lives is greater than that, uh, and then we're gonna also say if the player lives, if the player lives is less than the actual player lives, and if it is uh, greater, if the player lives is actual, if if the player lives is greater than the actual player lives, then it needs to go down because the actual player lives are less. But then if otherwise, then it needs to go up. And the reason why we're gonna do that is because in the collectibles, here we have um, change the player lives by one. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this block, and we're gonna grab a set block, and we're going to set the actual player lives to five. So we're just going to make that. Uh, or actually, sorry, we're gonna we're gonna change the actual player lives by five, and we're gonna put that right here before it deletes this clone. And we're going to put this right there. Actually, this here, what we can do is we can add to the life bar. So right here, we can add it to the life bar. And then we can delete it. Now here, we can add this right like that. Okay. Now when we try this, let's try it out and see what happens. Okay, here we've got some potion. So when I grab it. Okay, it seems to work. All right. That's pretty nice. Here, if you check in our third progress report, which is not out at the moment, but it will be, I have these two songs in the stage, this one called Nemesis, and this one. They are both from the Fat Rat, but they're music that I'm going to add. Here, we can delete these. Um, and what this music that I'm going to add is going to do is it's just going to have, uh, when flag clicked, we're going to say, um stop all the other scripts in this sprite we're also going to stop all the sounds and then we're going to play Oregon reprise until done forever and then we're gonna do this for also if we receive end game so if the game ends then we're also gonna do this but if we're actually playing the game then I want it to do something different. I want to say if we receive play, then I want it to do the same thing except that we're going to play Nemesis. Whoops. Which is this right here. Now when we play this it should work. So I press play. And we have this song. And then when we play Now once we die And then it goes back to this song. So, I think that's pretty good. I'm muting my sound while playing this just because I don't want it to be too annoying while we, while I'm kind of trying to teach you guys stuff. But that's just something that I'm going to add uh, into my game, like the actual game. And you guys can do that too in your game if you would like, but you don't have to. Now, one thing that's kind of annoying for me is that there, I have a, in the shop I it's an automatic gun. But this automatic gun is not as good as the gun that I have originally. The gun that I have originally is actually a lot better, and it's a pretty nice, accurate, fast gun, and you can shoot as many bullets as you want. The automatic gun is way too inaccurate, it's hard to control, it doesn't shoot that much, actually you can shoot faster with the normal gun, and also it just wastes your bullets, while this gun you can be a lot more accurate and use every bullet for what you want. So. Right now, there's literally no point in buying this gun at all. In the real game, I want that to actually work, so why not just fix that now? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the original gun that we have, and I'm going to make it a lot worse. I'm probably going to make it even worse in the final game, because I want it to be pretty good while we're testing, so that we can actually test out the stuff and be able to not die in like a certain wave if we're trying to test something in a certain wave, like the new enemy. Um, but... I'm still going to make it a little bit worse. So to start, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the firing speed um, 
worse. So right now, we're just shooting, and then we're waiting till we release the mouse before we can shoot again. What I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say I want that to happen, but I also wanna wait, like, 0 0.2 seconds before we can shoot. So we have to wait a little bit of time and before we can shoot again, which is gonna be quite annoying and it's just gonna make the gun worse. Uh, also, I'm gonna say the accuracy is gonna be a little bit worse too. So we'll say minus four to four. Um, and I'll say the firing speed will also be different. So it'll be like 10, it'll be like a slower shot. So now let's just try this and see how bad the gun is. So we shoot. It goes pretty slow, we are pretty inaccurate, and it's just, I cannot shoot that fast, like I'm trying to shoot a lot of shots, and I'm actually able to shoot pretty frequently, but it's not a very good gun. I don't want it to be too bad because it's going to make everybody not want to play it because it just is too annoying. I just want it to be something as a good starting spot so we can upgrade our gun instead of just changing it. So. Right now I think this is fine, but I think what I'll do is I'll say bullets are a lot easier to come by in certain automatic guns because they waste a lot more bullets and yeah, so right now every shot, every shot from the bullet takes away a life from the enemies, but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to have more powerful guns that take away more life from the enemies. So we'll, we will say um, here I'm going to wait point uh, one here for the automatic gun and then I'm going to make it move 15 steps so a little bit faster uh, it'll be less accurate but that's what we want and then also here it plays the exact same sound but since it's automatic I kind of want it to play a different song a different sound I think yeah we already have gun 3 so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change this to gun 3 for that type of gun and now we can just play it so okay I died I do not have enough money, so let's do this again. This gun is not good enough to survive for that long, so I think that's pretty good. Okay, here we have a problem with our life bar. You can see it is pulsating. And it was pulsating when it was at full lives. So we're going to need to fix that. Okay, I got really close, but I'm still not at enough money. Okay, I died, but I do have enough money, so we will buy that. And now... Uh oh, that's still working. We got still some glitches, but uh oh, it's still up there. Press Q. Ooh, I like this gun. I think it's shooting a little bit too often, and it uses up a lot more bullets. So we will say, uh, first of all, we gotta fix this glitch for the f for this. So. We will say, what is the shop hover? It's still on automatic too, so the problem is actually in here. So it needs to switch to, what it does is it stops the script. But what we need to do before it stops the script is we need to set the shop hover to zero. Okay, I think that should work. And then also there was a glitch for the life bar. So for the life bar, if the player lives is greater than 40, then we need to set the player lives to 40 but also it just what well, the, the problem with this is that we also need to uh, set the um, actual player lives to 40 I believe maybe and then we're going to in here we're gonna wait until the player lives and the actual lives are not equal I don't know if this is actually necessary but it will at least make sure that the glitch has a less high a less high of a chance to actually not work. And now we're gonna go to the bullet. And here I'm gonna say uh, we will wait 0 0.15 seconds. And also it changes the bullets by minus one. Um, but instead, I think it should be. Uh, Feel like it should just give us more bullets so we will say we will make a variable called actual bullets press ok now here we'll say that the uh, in the bullets we'll say the actual 
bullets. We'll set the bullets to 100, and we will set the actual bullets to 100. Actual player lives, no, the actual bullets. And we will say that um, it changes the bullets. What we will do instead is we will change the actual bullets by minus 1, change the actual bullets by minus 1, and then when we go to the um, collectibles, when it changes the bullets by 25, we're actually going to change the actual bullets by 25. And now, after this, we want to say that if the player costume is equal to 1, so right here it says if it's equal to 1, what we'll say is we will set the bullets to the actual bullets. But, if the player costume is equal to 2, then what we're going to say is we're going to set the bullets to actual bullets times 2. So we're going to get double the amount of bullets if we have that gun. So, let's try it. It should just work normally with this gun. That life bar thing looks like it's working. Alright, I died with enough money, so I'm going to go buy that again. Boom. See, now it disappears, which is good. Now we can go back and play this. So now it says uh, it's still 24 rounds, but when you switch it, when we press Q, we now have 48 rounds. But when we're shooting, it actually takes two rounds away. So it's basically working by showing it, but it's not working because it still has the same amount of rounds. So what we need to do is here it says it changes the actual bullets by minus one. But what we want to do is we actually want to change the bullets by minus one. Actually, what we'll do is we'll change the actual bullets by minus 0 0.5. Now we have to try this whole thing over again. Sorry about that. I'm out of bullets and I just need uh, two more points left. Alright, I got 29 bullets before I died. Okay, so we'll go to the shop. We will buy this. And now when we play, we have... 28 rounds and we're just losing but when we go to Q we get double that and now when we're shooting it's just taking one away at a time which is perfect that is what we want when we press Q oh my goodness so if we press Q and we have a uh, odd number it's not gonna work really and that's because what's happening is it's taking it from the bullet so we're gonna go to the score here and it's taking doing the bullets um, clone ID to clone ID, which is the bullets, but what we need to do is we need to say round. So do the round variable and round variable. Now we could try this again, but instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the cost uh, zero because it just of the automatic gun because it just is too much time to do this every time. So we'll go to the shop, we'll buy this Oh, it's not letting me buy it. Oh, wait a minute. I know why it's not working. It's if, if it's greater than zero, we need to say greater than minus one. Go to the shop, purchase it, okay. And we play. Press Q. We have 200 rounds. And it's just shooting like that. Now, if we have an odd number, uh, like, like that, we press Q. It gives us 90 rounds. And then we press Q again. It gives us 167. Okay, so we get more rounds this way, but let me see if it, we're able to get more, if we get 50 rounds when, yeah, with those packs of bullets. So when we collect the pack of bullets, yep, we get 50 rounds, which is great. Now when we switch to Q again, now we just have this gun, which just shoots one at a time. Alright, that is great. Alright, uh, I don't know if there's a better way to do that, like... I don't know if there's a better way to, I'm going to switch this back, make it so that, like, when you have an automatic gun, do you really just want double, or is there a better way to do it? Like, is there a way where you could, I don't know, I have absolutely no idea. Maybe only the packs give you more or something, but that's just what I thought of, and I thought maybe that would be good. And if you know, like, if you don't know that that's supposed to happen, it can kind of seem like a glitch. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't really want people to think that I that it's a glitch, but there may not be another way. 
Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. I know you've put a ton of work into your game so far. I've put a ton of work into my games and into these videos, but I also understand how much work you've put into these. It's a lot easier for me because I've been doing Scratch for a while. That's why I just want to thank you for watching my videos, putting in the time for your games, and putting in the time to invest in the videos that I invested in. Thank you guys, and I will see you next time.